In this video, I'm going to look at downloading a Windows 10 version 2004 installation ISO and creating a UEFI bootable USB on a Mac computer that can pass secure boot. So the first thing we need to do is open up Safari and search for download Windows 10 and we'll be taken to the Microsoft website. And on the Microsoft website, we'll need to select Windows 10 and then we'll need to select our language. So I'm going to select English International, which is English UK. Note Microsoft call English US English, so make sure you don't download the wrong English by mistake. So once you've got the installation ISO, you're going to want to verify your download. So to do this, you can select verify your download and then the SHA256 is given for each language. So here's the English International 64 bit. And I'm going to open up the terminal and I'm going to type in CD downloads and this is going to change the directory to the downloads folder and I can open up the downloads folder within Finder. So in the terminal, what I'm going to type in is sh sum with no spaces and then a space dash a and then a space and then 256 and then a space and then the name of the ISO. So I'm just going to right click the ISO and select rename and then copy and paste the name into the terminal and then add the .iso extension. You'll need to select OK to allow the terminal access to the downloads folder. And this computes the SH256 and we can see that this matches the one presented on the Microsoft website, which means I have a complete download link. If your SH256 doesn't match, then you've got a corrupt ISO and you'll need to re-download this again. So now if I double click the ISO, this will open the ISO up as a mounted drive within Finder. So next we want to go to the sources folder and then we want to find the install.wim and we want to view the details and we see that this file exceeds 4.0 gigabytes. And this is the upper limit for the file size that can fit on a FAT32 formatted USB flash drive, which we must use in order to pass secure boot within a UEFI BIOS. So in order to get around this, we need to install a software package called Brew. And Brew essentially adds a lot of Linux-like commands in order to install additional software. So we'll need to input our password in order to authorize the installation of Brew and then we'll need to select enter to proceed. Once we've installed Brew, what we're going to type is Brew install wimlib and we need to use wimlib in order to split the install.wim file into smaller install.swm files which are below the 4.0 gigabyte limit. So what we're going to type in is wimlib dash image x and then space split and then space and then downloads and then write slash install.wim and then space and then downloads write slash install.swm and then space and then 4000. So this is going to split the install.wim file found within downloads and create multiple install.swm files found in downloads and it's going to use 4000 megabytes as the upper limit. Okay, so now we need to actually create a FAT32 formatted USB flash drive. So to do this, type in disk util and then space and then list and have a look for the device number of your USB flash drive. In most cases, it's going to be two. 
Okay, so now the next line we're going to type in is disk util and then space arrays disk and the D has to be uppercase and then space and then capital MS dash and then capital DOS. So this is going to be the file format and Mac OS call FAT32 MS DOS and then space win underscore 2004 that's going to be the name of the USB flash drive and then space MBR so that's going to be the partition scheme of the USB flash drive and then select the device which is right slash dev right slash disk 2 in this case so once you've created the FAT32 formatted USB flash drive what you want to do is go to your ISO and copy all the folders on it except for the sources and then you want to create a new folder on the USB flash drive called sources and copy everything from the sources folder to it except the install.wim and finally in place of the install.wim you want to copy the two install.swm files so this fits all the files onto a FAT32 formatted USB flash drive and the Windows installer will use the two install.swm files instead of the larger install.wim file which can't fit on a FAT32 formatted USB flash drive and this USB flash drive will pass a UEFI BIOS with secure boot so now I'm going to plug the Windows 10 bootable USB into the PC that I want to clean install Windows on. So this is going to be an Optiplex 7040 and I'm going to power up and press F12. We can see that we have a UEFI BIOS with secure boot enabled and that I can select the bootable USB. I can select my language, install now it's going to automatically input the 25 digit OEM product key I'll accept the license agreement and I'll go ahead and delete all the petitions on the solid state drive and now if I select next we can see that there's no problem with the Windows 10 bootable USB it passes a UEFI bias with secure boot and all the files copy across without any incident. So the Windows 10 installation media is created correctly as expected.